Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. My name is Noodles. Hopefully you're having a good New Year's Eve. Uh, if you're new here, please consider subscribing and stuff. Real quick before this video begins, I was planning to release ESX today. I actually recorded about four and a half hours worth of footage for it in the last few days, um, which is going to be edited down, of course. Unfortunately, um, I ran into severe issues with getting it set up. The documentation was out of date. There was a lot of missing pieces to it. It just, it's not in a place right now where I want to release it. I, probably next week, I'm hoping. Um, but a lot of it is recorded. It's just getting through the final few steps that seem to not be working for some reason. I will get there eventually, I do promise you. I was planning to get it out today, but unfortunately, I just ran into all these issues and I'm out, kind of out of time as well. Um, because I won't be home for later on tonight. But, you know, let's move on. Today we're checking out this new hologram speedometer thing. Um, which is actually really, really cool that pops up between your car. Um, it's free. Download it off the resource page. Link in the description. Um, pretty much to install this, all you because they do like a nice little overview video too, which shows you what it looks like. Very easy to install. It has a full configure file as well. All you have to do is go ahead and download it from the GitHub page. Just click it. It'll take you here. Click this little download clone or download button. Click download zip file. You're going to go into your resources folder. Just like you normally do for all other resources we install, where all we're going to have to actually do is drag it straight into here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to rename it and just delete that dash name at the end of it, just so we have the speed. Copy this name, control C, control V, whatever you normally copy with. Go into your server data, server.cfg file, edit it with notepad++, add in sure, then the name, hologram speed for my case. We're good to go. We can actually go ahead and get started. But before we do, we're going to go into resources, hologram speed, Open up the config.lula file. Inside this file, you have the configure file. Do you want to use um, the mile per hour unit? Yes, we're using that. Are you using the NVE graphics mod? I use that, so I'm going to enable it. Uh, key control, just going to keep that default. Going to keep everything default. We're good to go. Going to start up our server. To ensure everything started up properly, just check your thing. Make sure it said started resource hologram speed. We're good to go. We can close all this out. Um, it goes over exactly all the info here on the thing. You can do slash HSP to enable it and disable it. Um, that's pretty much it as well. So you can either do the little squ squiggly line key to enable it or um, just start it up. So let's get started. Let's start our game. Let's get in there. Let's enjoy and see what it looks like. All right, so we are in the game, and of course, we spawned in the worst place to do this type of uh, overview, but we're just going to hop into our car here. When we hop into the car, give it a second to spawn if it actually spawns. Thank you to clearing out server. There we go. So you can see we have spawned in, and by default, there is our little um, configurable thing. Oh, poor person. Oh, poor car. <laughs> great way to start so you can see it disappears if it goes underground or anything which i kind of actually like it's kind of cool that it just hovers alongside the car this could be used for some like futuristic type stuff um so you can see it's all set up there it's right now in kilometers per hour so what we can do is hsp and then miles per hour and it would actually switch to miles per hour um you have to restart your game to take effect for that um but it's really cool to have i really recommend checking it out um if you have any problems with it or need to report any bugs just go ahead and do it over on the forums page um and yeah have some fun with it hopefully you do enjoy it thank you all so much for watching hopefully you are having a great new year's eve i do apologize it wasn't esx um i really want it to be i'll keep working on it i promise it'll be out soon um but i'm gonna head off for tonight thank you so much for heading up today i will see you all in two days for the next video goodbye